after a long, fun, and just like great night of bonding with these dudes drinking kava. I know we dumped in this off on. Right here, this tea leaf. This tea leaf right here? Yep. And I just offer it up? Yep. Offer it up. Oh, that's awesome. The ceremony is started. It's like how the hood does it to like the dead homies. Like you put it over the grave, right? Literally. This, yeah. Literally, that's what it's for. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Cheers, fellas. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> tastes like the root, right? Yeah, it does taste yeah. like the root. It's not bad though. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not mad at that. The fresh, when you do it like this with the root, um, it does not taste as bad as the powder. Because there's powder bags. Yeah. That can taste a little bit gnarly. We can drink that really too after tea. if you want. After we do this. And then... Uh, we can try the powder too after if you <laughs> After you just told me that. <laughs> like the powder tastes terrible, we can try it. Uh, I do remember in my sleepy and inebriated state that he said that I had to get spam musubi from this local joint right here. Now apparently back in the day, 7-Elevens when they weren't so popular, a lot of these like mom and pop liquor stores had the spam musubi and all the general stuff that everybody would get. And they said that this spam musubi is the best and you have to get it earlier in the morning because they make it fresh and the spam is actually crispy on its own. I'm super hyped about this. My goal in life is to look for the best bad moves to be. And I kind of told them that 7-Eleven was my favorite. They laughed in my fucking face. So, I'm trying to see what this place is about. So, uh, we made a mistake of coming in here and filming without asking permission, which is completely our fault. I think we're so used to just walking around and doing what we want. And that's my fault because that's actually pretty disrespectful to come into a store and just start filming. So this guy is hilarious and uh, he came up to us and was like, don't you think it's a little wrong for you to come up here without asking permission? Which he's 100% right, but the way he went about it is just so hilarious. But this guy's freaking awesome. So the, the cool thing about a lot of these local stores that he was telling us uh, is that this is kind of like a neighborhood staple and they sell about like 400 to 500 of these like spam uh weekly. So it's, it's really one of those things that everybody has growing up as a kid. And once again, like you look in the store and it kind of reminds me of my parents' store where it has like that neighborhood feel and you could tell that this is the spot that everybody goes to just to get their random stuff. And uh, you definitely got to have like a Korean personality like that. And he was telling me earlier, he goes, I was like, oh, I spoke to him in Korean. I was like, hey, are you Korean? He goes, can't you tell? I'm angry. I was going to kick his ass. <laughs> so this place has been for like 30 years and it's, it's owned by one person. Uh, but like 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 a lot of the locals said, like there's not many of these. Very like, steady, successful neighbors, very safe, not like in LA. Oh yeah. They, they don't even get close to Robbie. Yeah. So very safe. Yeah, there's a lot of like uh, neighborhood, like family. It's all neighbors, just yeah. like a family environment. Yeah. Everybody knows by name. So when when people come in and they're a little short on change, you just let them go and they come back. Oh. I always say, why bother? Yeah, what, five cents? They'll come back. Ten cents, five cents. So some place, ten cents, they scream at you. Yeah. <laughs> Just like where I scream at him. <laughs> he embarrass the hell out of him. <laughs> he said, whoops, I thought Hawaii people nice. Hawaii people not nice anymore. <laughs> not like before. <laughs> the difference with this spam compared to other spam musubis, number one, they actually crisp it up. So the other ones that we see, it's usually sauced out. Yeah, it's soggy. This one is crisp as hell. Mm. Um, the rice amount is actually a lot smaller, so you kind of get like a good amount of both. And I can see why a lot of local people like this one. Oh, it's crisp. Mm -hmm. It's a different style for sure. Good. Yeah. I'm not mad at this. He was mad at us, but I'm not mad at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if you guys want to check out the spot and you want to try the crispy spam musubi, the place is called Kamamalu Market out in Honolulu. Really small neighborhood joint. Just remember, be respectful, be mindful. Don't get all crazy loud in there, start busting shit up. Just, uh, that guy will fucking kill you. <laughs> David, you might want to do that again. You have food on your teeth. It's good? You know good? I'm good. <laughs> Poke is one of my favorite, favorite dishes, and when I come to this island, you already know I gotta rub down on this thing now. Usually I go to the Yama's Fish Market, but a couple of locals told me that this is actually the spot that you want to go to. I don't know how true this is, but what they told me is that local fishermen or people who catch fish, they come here and they bring their catch here and they actually make that fresh ash fish 
poke, fresh ass fish poke. I really don't know what to expect. I usually just go to my same spots. Like I just go to Foodland, get some poke, which is pretty damn good in my opinion. But if this is the spot that the local people are telling me to go to, then I gotta go here. I think there's like two other locations, but we're on our way to go zip lining up. We'll stop off here and try this stuff out. What I like to do when I come to a poke spot is I like to get a little bit of everything. So me and Joe decide to get our favorites. This is already Joe's favorite right here. Show you. Yeah. I'm a bland ass bitch. <laughs> but the best way to try something is to actually taste it. So I'm gonna have Joe try his favorite one because he's okay. the motherfucking connoisseur. That's actually really sweet. Is it bomb? It's like candy. Oh my god, dude, that's really fucking good. This is something different, man. It's sweet. It's like okay. it's tuna candy to me. You know? It has like a caramel flavor, probably from like the shoyu, and there's like a sweetness to it too that kind of just melds really well with that saltiness. So she she actually hates fish, and I got her to want to try this. He said candy, so Well, here's the thing. <laughs> People don't know that. Fish is not supposed to be fishy at all. Yeah. Fresh fish is actually just really clean. And this is what fresh fish is supposed to taste like. <laughs> not bad. The flavor's really good, actually. Right? Yeah. I told you. That's what. That's how you're supposed to eat fish. Yo, you should try this one right Okay. So this is like their specialty. I mean, they just, they, what is it? This is kind of new for them. He actually had to try it, a little piece of it. Yeah. It's like their ginger poke. So, so eat the whole garlic? Yeah, it's like that pickled garlic then. Okay. The Asian garlic. Mm. This is like a mama, right? <laughs> oh god. So this right here apparently isn't like a Hawaiian thing. It's like something that's more new. It's like their salmon poke because mm -hmm. obviously they don't have like Atlantic salmon here. But this is actually one of my favorites. I'm gonna try it. It's sweet. It has that delicious like seaweed futakake flavor to it. It's like candy. Yeah. Man. And like salmon has like such a high fat content. Mm -hmm. If you if you don't like raw fish, salmon should be like the first one that you try. This is their what? This is like their. That's the Hawaiian style. So it's like it's like limu poke, which is a uh, seaweed and salt. It's pretty good. It has a little kick to it, so they put a little bit of heat in there. Mm. But their sauces are a little sweet. I like it. It is. Yeah, man, but if you guys ever have time out here, check out Fresh Catch, and the next time we're here, we'll go to the back kitchen and we'll show you how it's done. I think um, what we're going to do um, when we come back around to Hawaii, we actually might go to the fish market, but until then, I'm just gonna grub on this shit right before we go ahead and zip line. This one's my favorite one. It's good. This is not something I'm too particular on just because uh, <laughs> I'm scared of heights. I think we're about to go zip lining at this place called Kualoa Ranches, which is where we're at right now. Uh, fuck zip lining. I don't like heights, but you know me. I'm all about adventure. I'm all about trying things new. And I like how I'm doing this at the heaviest I've ever been in my life. And they have like roughly about a 280 pound capacity. I'm about 250. It doesn't really give me too much leeway. I'm fucking excited. I'm guessing my weight's okay, roughly about 260 pounds. I've been eating a lot on this trip. What's the limit? 280. <laughs> awesome. Gotcha. Thank you. The only weight is because you're here. It's just the biceps, dude. I'm telling you, man. It's just all right here up in the guns. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. You're good. That's like this is on 261 pounds. pounds. I think so, I mean, the scale is over. off about like you, 60 pounds. The longer you've been in. When I run, you can walk. I'm so fat. Zipping, Vanessa oh, and David. Coming. Are they ready to go already? Okay. Well, you're not unclipped yet. Huh? You're not ready to go yet. My palm's sweaty. Do I have it? I have a ridiculous fear of height. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Oh, I can't do that. Oh God! Stop! Oh God! Why is it rotating? Oh God! Oh, it's out. Okay. It's so fast. It wasn't that bad, right? I don't know. My eyes were closed the whole time. It was beautiful, the inside of my eyelids. <laughs> All right, keep your eyes open for this one. Okay. Strike a pose. Zip in, David and Vanessa. This one's longer. This one's longer, yes. Double that person, so about 400 feet. 
Oh god! Open your eyes! Oh, why is it spinning? Oh shit! Whatever, turn up. I can't let go of it. How do you know? It's so long! Oh shit! Three, two, one, zippo! Oh shit! God! Why am I so pissed? I'm I'm kind of scared now. This is like one of the most frightening experiences. Fuck these water cups! What the fuck is this supposed to hold? Uh, Zippo! Oh, okay. Oh my god, motherfucker! Oh my god, I'm going so fast! So I survived, clearly, as you guys know. I'm basically not scared of anything. Uh, anything that I do tackle in life, I do it with a lot of confidence, precision. I'm blessed that way. But, in all seriousness, that shit was frightening as fuck for the first four ones. Uh, after that, you start to get used to it. It gets exciting. It wasn't as scary as my first one because I stopped screaming after a while, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the ladies here are absolutely amazing and uh, you know the point of this for me too is honestly to try to get over my fear of heights like I don't like being scared of heights like it's not something I enjoy it's not like I'm trying to do this purely for your entertainment I, I don't want to be scared of heights but uh, there's baby steps you know you get harnessed into this rope that carries other people and if they didn't die I shouldn't die so I survived Everything out. <laughs> okay. Phil's not gonna do anything right. Oh, what did I say? She's all shook up. I'm thinking too much. <laughs> Lost in the summer, man. We're burning up. The time don't show when the sun gets carried. off your body oh you stay with me I, no, I will show you how I lie when no one told you oh what did I She's all shook up Vision by the seaside We're moving on But I don't know When the fire gets hazy The flames Roll down and off her body Oh, you stay with me I, Now I will show you how I lie When no one told you Now I can walk the stone of the shoreline and taste the ocean salt when the cold shines my words are rolling soft down the south side I, now I will show Oh,